Hi, welcome back to my channel. My name is Janelle Samora and this is Scent Talk from my closet, the fragrance closet. On this channel, we go over all things fragrance. We cover niche perfume houses. We go over layering combos. We talk about dupes and clones of original fragrances, highlight indie perfume brands on the channel, all things fragrance. If that's something you're interested in, go ahead and continue watching. Consider hitting that subscription button and the bell so you'll be notified to new videos. So you never know which fragrance house we are going to cover next. So we are pretty much wrapping up here imaginary authors i did get a hold of a short story collection we've been going through doing some wear tests on these really really interesting unique scents this is an artisan fragrance house it really is and so for today i did go ahead and throw on here memoirs of a trespasser and um i wasn't expecting to love this fragrance but I also wasn't expecting to detest it in any way <laughs> let me tell you so let's get right into this this is a 2012 release it is an amber vanilla fragrance and I absolutely adore amber and vanilla and on the site it says when should you wear this fragrance it says a true adventure scent wear memoirs of a trespasser when traveling and again when you're back home to conjure comforting memories that's one of the things that i absolutely adore and love about fragrances it is what just captivates me and keeps me searching keeps me looking exploring even though i've already pretty much have a handful of favorites i still very thoroughly enjoy exploring different fragrance houses finding you know what's unique to myself to my personal likings and also uh, messing around with layering combos and making fragrances my own especially when they're either mainstream or very very popular so this scent <laughs> this scent here in the fragrance notes has madagascar vanilla guayac wood and myrrh benzoin resin ambrette sea and oak barrels i'm gonna spray it this here opens up very very like vinegar very vinegary my experiences my experience with fragrance that have opened up in this manner very vinegary um balsamic even they turn out to be really really good good fragrances um things they just turn into these unbelievably you know you, more often than not like an orange creamsicle type, type scent and this fragrance i will have to say as soon as that little balsamic component goes away you are just smacked with smoke i mean very very smoky this is i'm assuming the guayac wood here but this guayac wood has been charred it has been burnt to a crisp and you're just getting the smoke off of this oh my gosh um i can oh my gosh there's charlie's fighting um i can really honestly get the vanilla that is in here um you know i love madagascar vanilla i love tahitian vanilla this is not vanilla in a pure form by any means this is very it's very very smoky i mean the smokiness just it's too much for me it is a way too much this is man if you are a fan of smoky smoky notes or smoky vanillas this is going to be your your bag right here this is this, you're gonna love this <laughs> i cannot jive with this i cannot get jiggy with these type of notes i i don't know for whatever reason i just can't they really need to throw in here for the peoples on the notes um smoke like they have to they have to throw in something that's going to tell i was gonna say the viewers the well the viewers and uh you know the the people who are buying these fragrances like hey alert there is smoke in here you have a very very deep deep smoky vanilla it's a really really soft skin scent for the most part it does thank goodness it does not radiate too far or too strong because honestly you'd be setting off um you know smoke detectors <laughs> that that water would be pouring down Ah, and for that reason, I really don't feel like this is a, an easy, everyday reach wearable fragrance. I think that this is something that um, you can wear 
to a bonfire <laughs> you know I think I don't know it's a lot it's it's too much for me I, it never really you know I gave it a good four hours and it never goes away it never dissipates that smoky feel I mean if you've ever been to a bar a barbecue and you get smacked with smoke and that smoke is just so so penetrating that you have to take a shower you're not going to get that smell out of your hair or out of your clothes that is the smoke that I'm getting from this fragrance so um what did I do <laughs> Uh, I, like I said, I had this on for about four hours. It, it went into, you know, a pretty, pretty intimate scent. So I don't feel like you're going to get a whole lot of um, lo longevity to this again or, or strength. Um, yeah, so I did wash I did wash it off. I did. I was like, okay, no, I want something comforting. I want something vanilla, definitely toasty, warm, delicious. I want to enjoy the rest of my day, my fragrant day. So I just had to come in here with a Tonka Bean Tea Cakes by the House of Gloy. Now, this is my hair oil. I wasn't, and I also have um, a perfume oil. If you're familiar with the House of Glory, I do have um, a dedicated review to Tonka Bean Tea Cakes. And I did go ahead and transfer my, my oil here into a spray form. Um, and their little, their little dabbers, they come in little 1ml samples like this and they have the label. So what I do is I take that label off and wrap it around a little sprayer here so I can spray to my heart's content. I really don't care for dabbers too much. Um, so yeah, Tonka Bean Tea Cakes went on my pulse points. Very nice here. I, did, I didn't I did use my oil though. I went ahead and used my hair oil and that was enough because I didn't want it to be super, super strong. I wanted to come in with none other than Tahoda. Now this is uh, by Andromeda's Moon. It is a dupe for Tahoda and it is a really, really good one. I did a full on head to head wear test uh, from between Andromeda's Moon version and the original, um, the original Tahoda by Indult. And it was so, so good. He, it is still here. It is really, really, I have absolutely no issues longevity wise at all. Beautiful projection. This fills up a room, honestly, and it is so enjoyable. Now, this is the type of sillage I am happy with leaving a trail of. <laughs> Definitely. This is so, so good, you guys. I'm going to spray it just one more time here. Oh, this is one that I could just... I could I could spray this on and I'm gonna wake up smelling just like as if I just sprayed it this has an amazing amazing uh, longevity it just clings to me I just love it so this Tehoda I also have one by the house of Kaisi it's really really similar but if you happen to be playing around or, or placing an order to Kaisi I highly recommend also bonbons a la vanille it is really really similar to Tehoda as well although it has that Kaisi DNA you know um, like you could just tell it's by Kaisi perfumes <laughs> I want to spray it really quick just to since I just sprayed the other one. Oh yeah, it has this Kaisi perfumes have this little tiny DNA in the background that it to me at least it smells like like a baking product. It smells so so gourmand. But like if I'm in the kitchen, like definitely. Maybe a little balsamic even. Oh, but it's so good. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, that one is Bonbons a la Vanier by Kaisi Perfumes. And then, of course, our Tahoda by Andromeda's Moon. So that is how, that is what I am rocking and enjoying today. I am in heaven. I love vanilla. And I went ahead and topped this off as if I needed anything else. I was like, uh, bring on the comfort. <laughs> I topped this off with my Brazilian Crush Cheerios 62. So this one... Uh, doesn't it surprisingly sticks to the clothes really really nice i'm just gonna spray it again <laughs> oh i love this scent this is another one that will just really really um bring me to places that i have traveled to before i'm not a huge traveler i'm just saying like it's i've associated this with a, a particular trip i took for my anniversary and it just takes me right back there so it makes me so happy i 
absolutely adore this. And Andromeda's Moon also has a version of this that lasts forever if you are looking for Brazilian Crush Cheerios 62 and you want that scent to, to cling to you and stay forever. You got it there with Andromeda's Moon. I do have a full dedicated review to that scent. And so that this is how I turn my frown upside down today. So just thought I'd share that with you guys. Um, if you are in the market for a smoky, smoky scent, or you want to add that to any of your fragrances, this is going to be a good contender for you. Memoirs of a Trespasser. Um, definitely not full bottle worthy for me for this collection of mine. And um, yeah, so that's all the review for today, uh, Memoirs of a Trespasser. I am now going to go ahead and prepare my hits and misses from Imaginary Authors. And um, yeah, a couple that I would also really like to explore that I didn't get a hold of. So that will be uh, next video. Thank you guys so much for tuning in, for supporting the channel, for, for continuing on this fragrance journey. And um, I would really like to know what has been a complete total fail for you guys. Like this one was for me. The notes really sounded pretty promising. I'm like, every now and then I can handle me a, a nice wood, especially if you've got this beautiful round Madagascar vanilla to kind of taper down that wood. I can totally rock you know, uh, some wood notes. So is there anything that you've ever been misled by as far as the notes are concerned? And then you're just like, I can't stand this. I do not like it. I would like to know so that maybe I would possibly steer clear from it as well <laughs> or explore it. I don't know. Sometimes I like a good challenge. Thank you guys so much. Y'all have a great rest of your day or your evening and you stay safe. Thanks. Bye-bye.